So there are many programs available on the web for binding keys to a controller, um, but I found Joyt Key to be the easiest, and it's also free. It's technically shareware. Um, you can purchase a registration key for it if you wish, but it is not required. So uh, first download the Joyt Key program. So you can go here and then here. And there are some ads on the site, but uh, if you scroll down, you'll get to the section called Download the Latest Version. And this is where you want to download the installer for Joy to Keep. After you open the installer, follow the instructions on the screen to set it up. I'll go ahead and do that now. and go to launch, you'll get this. Now before you get started, you wanna make sure that your controller is connected before setting up the new joy to key profile. If you're using a Bluetooth controller like this Xbox One controller, make sure it's connected wirelessly with Bluetooth. So I do hold this down, turn it on. And uh, if you have this on, it'll highlight what keys you're pressing, which makes it a lot easier to find the keys. So see so you have the up to up, down to down, right to right, and left to left. Generally, most keyboard controlled games will use a variation of the directional keys, left down, up and right, or WASD. This can vary though. I'm going to set up the directional keys on here, show you how it's done, and I'll show you how simple it is. So there's one, that's the up key. Now I want to change the right key, so click the right, hit the right directional key, down, down, and you'll see that change up here. Click OK, and then left. It might help you to play the game you want to keep buying with the keyboard first to decide how you want to lay out the keys on your controller. Um, for me, I'm binding the directional keys for the keyboard to the directional keys on the controller. And then I'm also going to bind the D key to the X button and the F to my A button because this is the these are the um, uh, jump and action keys for the game I'm going to show this on. So I'll do that now, press A, A for D, and X for F. You can see where those keys are. There's the A and the X, and that's the directional pad. A good tip at this point is to go ahead and save the profile so that it will be available the next time you start Joy to Key. Okay, and then I'm just going to test this on an example of a game called Duck Soup Dungeon by developer Richard Lems on Itch.io or Itch.io. Um, I reviewed this game recently. I'll have a link to that as well in the description and review. But as you can see, I can control the selection of the screen and I am playing this game with my controller. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for similar gaming topics. If you'd like to see a written description of this tutorial, you can find the link in the description to my blog. And thank you for watching.